grew up in uh, Valley Stream, Long Island. And after my parents passed away, I moved here to Farmingdale, and I'm very happy here. I've lived here about two years. I found this through YAI. Here I have more room and basically uh, a lot more freedom. The Center for Innovation and Engagement provides people with enabling technology that allow them to be much more independent. It could be helping with bulb prevention, door sensors, stove sensors, using smart home technology so they can turn off the lights or turn on the TV so they're not waiting for staff to help them with that. So you've really done a good job remembering. I've worked with Mike for over two years now. He has blossomed in his apartment. He's doing very well maintaining his independence. Every week I just check on him to make sure that he's doing his budgeting and managing his medical needs. Me being a diabetic, I've had problems with my weight and stuff like that and all sorts of problems. I wasn't that great with taking pills to begin with. Sarah called me and introduced herself for YAI. Michael was a referral from YAI's Community Habilitation Program. We really do take the person-centered approach. We met with Michael, we talked about his likes, his dislikes. We did the important two and four assessment, and out of that came that uh, med dispenser might be something good for him. There's a sensor in the carousel that's connected to a cell tower that can alert me through text message if he misses any doses. I've had this medication machine for about five months now. It works beautiful. Why I is a godsend. Saved my life. As we start to share stories of people that are getting support through technology, it will help us as an organization to look at technology differently and to see it as an enabling option for people to enhance their independence in a way that we might not have done in the past.